everybody, I'm Tom Basil. I'm Violet. And I'm Ruby. And today we're taking a look at one of the most insane games we've ever played called Cheating Moth. Now this is a game that people told me about and I was like, oh, I guess we should try it out because this is a game in which you are actually allowed to cheat. I think and I hope that I have taught you all and raised you all to know that cheating is wrong. You're Almost. really... No, no, I mean in other games. Oh, okay. Okay. Sure, fine. Whatever. <laughs> what do you mean whatever? No, I... Th what do you mean whatever? You shouldn't cheat in games. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm now a little less convinced now that we've had this, this, <laughs> this conversation. But in Cheating Moth, you are allowed to cheat by any means possible. Here's the thing. If you take the cheating out, Cheating Moth is a pretty boring game. You're just playing... I mean, do you it agree? It reminds me of Uno, in a way. Yeah. Well, anyway, before we go any farther, I guess I should show you how the game plays. In this game, players are going to be given a whole bunch of cards. These cards are numbered from one to five. There's going to be some extra kind of special cards that are in the deck, but these are the basic cards that are in there. The oldest person gets the guard bug card, and that's put in front of you. So one of the cards here is there's going to be a discard pile, and on your turn, you can play on top of this, you're discarding a card that's one lower or one higher. So on top of this one, I could play a two, or I could play one lower since there is no zero. I can play a five because it does wrap around. So on top of the five, you might play a four. And on top of the four, you might play a three. Now, some of the cards are special cards. So this one here is a cockroach. Whenever you play a cockroach, everyone tries to throw out a card that's the same number as quickly as they can. The first person to do so gets to get rid of their card. This is an ant. If you play an ant, everyone has to draw a card except for the person whose turn it is. If you play a mosquito, everybody has to slap the card. The slowest person gets a card from everyone else's hand. And if it's a spider, you can give a card to any other player. With one exception. These are cheating moth cards. You cannot play these cards ever unless you're the guard bug. If you're the guard bug, you can play that. Everybody else has to get rid of these cards by straight up cheating. In this game, you are allowed to cheat whenever you want, as long as you're not the guard bug. You must hold your hand of cards above the table, and you can only make one card disappear at a time, but you can do whatever you want. Drop it on the floor, stick it in your pocket, throw it over your shoulder, hide it in your hair. Whatever you might want to do, you can do it. But if the guard bug catches you doing it, he'll say caught. And if you were stealing, you put the card back, and the guard gives you one of their cards, and now you become the guard bug. If you have been wrongly accused, the guard bug has to draw another card and add it to their hand. That's it. You cannot cheat to get rid of your final card. So on your final card, you, if you play it onto the pile, the round is over. At that point, everyone gets points. Each number card you have is worth one point each. Cheating moths are 10 points, and other kinds of action cards are worth five points each. You play a number of rounds equal to the number of players, and whoever has the most points is the winner of the game. Okay, so like I said, if you take the cheating out, it's just kind of Uno, but it's not even as good as Uno. There's slapping the table, there's playing the cockroach card and stuff. Eh, they're okay. I mean, unless you guys think oh, you like Uno, though. Yeah. I don't know why. He plays it 24-7 and then says it's an okay game. It is. Then why do you play it so much? Because it's easy to get people to play. That, yeah. Well, cheating moths, though, the fact that you can cheat, and honestly, you have to cheat, you know, unless you're the guard bug the whole game. If you get a cheating moth, you have to cheat to get it out of your hand. So what are ways to cheat? Like, if I have a pocket, sticking in my pocket's good. I hid some under the rules. Yeah, Ruby was too stupid to figure that out. Everyone saw it. Everyone I, did. I, the only reason I haven't passed it was because Vi was, like, clenching it like this. What? Your fist was like this. You hid one in your hand? Hmm? Yeah, and I was like... I, I, I actually played two down on the table. Yeah. It wasn't in my hand. And then my wife caught me doing that. Several times. Anyway, the game itself is really funny. I mean, it's funny to play these cards. 
Uh, you cannot play this card with a magician. They're going to make all the cards disappear and you can't catch them. Um, but other than that, it's funny how people try to get rid of the cards. Throwing them over your head. Dropping on a four in a that quiet was a really <laughs> in a quiet yeah, moment. It once and it was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because everyone stopped talking briefly, and you just the car was like. I don't think that was the problem. We did add a few rules to cheating, like no giving it to the dogs, no throwing it outside. <laughs> but that was it. Yeah, you can't go up to go to the bathroom. And in fact, the, the rule book itself also says that while someone's being accused of cheating. You can't cheat during that period. And you can't cheat. Let's say if I was accusing Ruby, I'm like, ah, meanwhile, I'm just like throwing cards <laughs> over my shoulder. But we did oh, have to pick. Go. We had to pick cards oh, above the floor, God. take them out of pockets. Um, it's a really ridiculous game. The question is, does ridiculous mean good? Ruby. Yes. <laughs> I was laughing like the entire game. And since I already like Uno, unlike some people, uh, did you even cheat at all? During yeah, the game? I did once in the final round. Uh, but was that the second it, game or the? That was the second round. I think yeah. the first game you didn't cheat at all. Yeah, you're boring. I still beat you. <laughs> I'm a good cheater. That's only because you didn't if get you any play cheating with mods. People who like to cheat, this game will be hysterical. If everyone is like me, boring. Uh, you'll have a game of Uno. Which is good. That's not going to... But you can't do that. You have to cheat to get rid of the cheating moths. Unless you're the guard bug. Yeah, but if you're not the guard bug, you have to cheat then. Oh, yeah. Right. That was the only reason why I cheated the second I tried to cheat and I get rid of every card in my hand. Like, I got rid of my first cheating moth because I was the guard bug. Uh, and then I caught Violet because, you know what? No, I was really annoyed that you were so keeping your eye on me and not Daddy the entire you're time. the closest. But he was like flipping cards away every five seconds. He would yeah, have like five cards trying. and it's down to okay, two. And all, you wouldn't notice. You were the one who was like, look at him, look at him. How was that not like a major red flag? Because I keep telling you, he just had eight cards and down to two. Are you stupid? Yes. I didn't notice any of them until someone pointed it out, except for the. I gave you many heads up saying, did you not just see that? Okay, let's talk about the game. Did you like the game? Yes, a lot. <laughs> I was just really annoyed with Ruby. She was the guard bug and couldn't catch anybody. Violet is the assistant guard bug, and she'd be like, hey, she guard bug. She did cheat a lot. Yeah, she. I think she cheated the most out of everyone in the game. Like, she was, like, stuffing it up her shirt and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, at the end of the round, she was, like, just pulling off. All right, so I also really think it's funny. It's, it's a silly game. I wouldn't want to play it all the time, but it's really funny to play once in a while. What would you rate this game? Nine. A nine. Yes, I love this. <laughs> I was not expecting that when you pulled out this game. I was like, oh, great, quick, fun game. That's right. In fact, I'm getting a copy for our house. We don't, we don't, most of our, this is going in the Dice Tower Library because I think that's funny. But also, yeah, we're going to get a copy for our house. What about you? I give it an eight. I thought the game was funny. I mean, the game mechanics were kind of meh. It, without the cheating, it'd be a totally boring game. But it was really interesting and cool. I also give it an eight. It's, it's, there's just something about this game, the fact that you are legally allowed to cheat. Everyone is looking for it. The guard dog is watch guard dog's watching everybody. No, she's watching just me because she's petty. I was watching you too. I was staring at my wife, but out of the corner of my eye, definitely keeping an eye on Violet. You're, like, like, you're cheating. I was not I cheating. I have an awful attention span. That's true. I called out the most incorrect cheats <laughs> of anybody. I'm so suspicious of my children. Like you just so put your hand on your I don't think anyone like misjudged me. At a, ever, like no one called me out for anything. You Mainly because have... I never did anything obvious enough. Well, you Except know. That one time, like, how did no one notice, like, me pulling the chair up to the table and like sliding? You were just putting that. cards on the. Oh, <laughs> it was only one. You gave it to the dog. <laughs> right. Oh. It, you should know by now, by watching his review, if you like the game or not. But if you think it sounds fun or hilarious, like we did, check it out. That's cheating moths. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Violet. And I'm Ruby. It's okay to cheat in, in this game. <laughs>